making a pompano trace using our ringed soy hooks and that would be used when using silas. So very simply what we're using for it is our number our kingfisher 5 by 6 power swivel very small and the reason we use it is pompano are very visual fish um, if you use big swivels big sinkers big hooks and stuff like that they can see it a lot easier and they become very sharp so the smaller is always better for catching pompano the lighter also so 5 by 6 you can either use the 4-0 or the 5-0 ring soy and the reason we use that is depending on the size of the sea lice that we are using if you've got small sea lice we'd use two over there if you've got a big sea lice we'd use the 5-0 okay fluorocarbon 17 kilo um, when using sea lice you're generally fishing over the beach area not over rocks um, hence the 17 kilo and not the 19 kilo which is a lot heavier Lighter, like I always say, is always better for pompano. They're very clean fighters. They won't really cut you off unless you're fishing in amongst rocks and reef and that. But if you were, you wouldn't be using sea lice as much. Uh, sinker snooting, 16 kilo. Cone sinker, grapnel sinker, or weed eater sinker, doesn't really make a difference. I've already gone ahead and pre-tied this. It's 600 long. It's cone sinker with a 5 by 6 power swivel okay which I tied obviously with our Kingfisher uh, 16 kilo um, sinker line 17 kilo um, Siglon and the reason we use Siglon is it goes totally translucent in water Pompano when fishing for them are normally found in clean water areas like I say they're very visual hunters um, lighter is always better. I'm going to use a 5 sui just so you can see how we tie it. It's a bigger hook, easier to actually film with. Okay, the 5 to tie the hook and the line on, the fluorocarbon, basically put the, the, the line through the eye and we're going to wrap it around three times. So we're going to go one, two, three times around. We're forming a figure of eight. Go through the back with the tag end, open it up, there's your figure of eight, just lubricate slightly, it's fluorocarbon, we don't want it to burn. Give it a good little yank on it, cut it off as close as you can, okay. Once fluorocarbon's tied and it's been pulled tight, it won't come undone. If you do not pull that knot tight, it's got a very good chance because it's got a lot of memory that that knot will undo itself. A lot of people come in here and say, hey, but my knots keep on coming undone. And you see how they tied it. They haven't pulled it tight enough. Pull it as tight as you can. When you do, you actually straighten out the fluorocarbon as well. So when it lies on the bottom, it's going to lie nice and straight. Okay. Attach it to the bottom end of our power swivel combo. And remember, the other hook goes to the leader. The small part of the actual swivel goes to your hook. The sinker always comes out at the angle, the right angle. And the reason we do that is when you're actually fishing, your greatest amount of pressure is in a straight line. So when you set the hook, it will go into the fish's mouth. If you put it onto the left hand side one, you have less chance, you've got more angle, you've got more chance of actually damaging the swivel and the line and getting tangled up. Okay. So how we do this is just measure quickly where we want it to be and give yourself a reasonable amount to play with so we go around once twice three times back through the R open it up to form the figure of eight like we have here there's the knot lubricate slide it all the way down to where the R of the hook is ah, the swivel sorry pull tight Cut it off nice and cleanly and that is about 500 long this is about 550 okay and you'll see when it lies down you'll see that line lies nice and straight okay remember with the sea lice we generally do not hook it on like that okay 
we basically leave it flying behind the actual thing when throwing a sea loss. Simple hook works extremely well. On this one, you'd have one sea loss, but generally a big sea loss. If you don't, it'll be two small sea loss on this hook here. Okay, this is the fiver. The 4O will be one single. If they're very, very small, then you can put two small ones on. But that's the hook that we prefer. It's offset, it's not in line, it turns in the fish's mouth, and the bite from a pompano is generally you can leave your rod in a rod stand and it's going to hook itself because it takes off at speed when it feels the resistance of the actual sinker. They're very aggressive feeders when it comes to eating sea lass, cracker, um, chocker bait, stuff like that. They're very aggressive crabs. So you won't feel like a bump, 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 bump. They floorboard you. And the nice part about using sea lass and feeding on the bottom, you will catch other fish like bonefish, stumpies, um, all those bottom feeding fish, your, your skates and that will all eat that. So yeah, very simple trace guys, works extremely well if you're fishing for edible fish. And again, this is basically what it looks like. Simple as that. Fluorocarbon is very expensive, so use it sparingly. That's why we make our sinker trace out of a, a cheaper nylon. But still good quality unfortunately, it's excellent quality. Okay.